What's up, people? Let's talk about how consoles are killing PC MMORPG genre. I will use uh, Throne and Liberty as an example because this game was developing at least 11 years and trust me, uh, back in uh, 11 years no one was uh, planning to make this game for the console and no one even was thinking to make the MMORPG for the consoles. Yes, in uh, 2013 no one on the planet was thinking to make full MMORPG game to make it on the console platform too. Not because the console was not powerful enough, no, because the people were thinking that the MMORPG is not for console and console have its games and it's over there. But now since uh, FPS shooter games modified to console and PC, the uh, people play together, it was so successful, it, it gives the company a lot of income and now everyone wants to put the console system and console access to any kind of game. And it's killing the game. Imagine WoW to play uh, with PC and console. Just imagine someone playing WoW from the console <laughs> and you playing from the PC. He don't even have the chance to survive against you. Imagine Ion, imagine Lineage, imagine Arcage, imagine a lot of MMORPGs. There is no way to console player can do something uh, in the game. Because the game was built for be the competitive game for competitive PC game. And what situation we got now? We have Throne and Liberty, 11 years of work, and in some uh, last uh, one or two years, they changed the sync and they are planning to publish this game on the console. Okay, what is the problem to game uh, published on the console? There is a lot of problems and we are facing and I am facing now at this problem. So if you're planning to publish the MMORPG on the console, first of all, you need to uh, decrease the functionality of the game because on the keyboard you have a lot of keys and uh, you can even make a lot of binds. For example, on Ion, I have 37 binds on the keyboard, like an uh, shift one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six itself, uh, H, G, T, R, V, B, and any other keys, then Alt B, Alt H, Alt V, and such kind of. 37 macro keys I will using while I am playing the Ion. Now imagine I am playing the Ion and someone use the controller. He don't even have the chance, man. It's nothing. So, what uh, the situation was the same on Throne and Liberty. This game was amazing game as it was planned to be. It was open world system, a lot of PvP content, a lot of PvE content and game was planned to be so good. But what we get now, Ancisoft decides to publish this game on the console side and uh, they cut a lot of things. First of all, they removed the PvP content from the game because uh, play the console as an MMORPG and you need to have PvP content. I mean the PvP content solo one and group one. I don't mean the Zerg versus Zerg because it's it's PvP, but it's not such kind of PvP. When I play PvP, I want to be the competitive. I want my name, people to remember it. I want, I play the Bon Jovi. Uh, it is my nickname in MMORPGs. And I want the people remember my name. And people are remembering my name. People remember my name in Arcage. People remember my name in uh, Lineage 2. People are remember my name in Ion. And in many uh, competitive PvP games, people are remembering my name because I am competitive and powerful player. But no one will remember my name in front of Liberty if someone, if those people will not change anything because I'm no one. It does not matter how much gear I have. Even, uh, even people say the game is pay to win. It's not pay to win. It does not matter. You are full geared. Then what? If you the if the PvP is Zerg versus Zerg, it does not mean your gear or your power or your skill level. It's nothing does not matter. So this uh, is the reason the game have console since the console players cannot play the solo and small group content to be the competitives. 
So developers just remote that function from the game. Yes, console players can play Zerg vs Zerg and Gil vs Gil. They will go to the action combat mode, this mode. Just like an imagine I'm using the joystick at this moment and they can spam skills and if it's hit someone, good. If it's not, let's reload the next skill and let's try to hit someone. This is stupidity gameplay. If you're facing with the people like if here is the if behind me is the ten people and okay hundred people and front of me is the hundred people so in normal games we know who is the healers we know who is the tanks we know who is the archers and we know who is the mages for example we mark them and we are killing them we don't just enter like in tarzan and la 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 and uh, spamming the skills it's it's so stupid -y. i don't like such kind of games if you want to play such kind of game, go to the console, make a console game. Don't putting uh, the things which is not for PC on PC gaming. I want to play the strategic good MMORPG. I hope Ashes of Creation will be such kind of game. I have big hope that Ashes of Creation will be such kind of game. And uh, thanks Steven Sharif uh, if he's going to the Arcage uh, side and I really love that game. Arcage, it's, uh, the game was broke because of the Kakao game is so bad publisher and so bad uh, manager of the game. But game itself was amazing and yes, thank you Steven. Uh, if you make PvP focused game, uh, your game will be amazing for me. And it will be amazing for many players because we uh, it is here i don't want to see the console i was even planning i don't even have the console if i would have i would destroy the as in my house at this moment to recording the video i am pc mmorpg player and please give me actual pc mmo game don't putting me mobile and don't putting me the consoles if you want to make the console game Go and make it for the console and I will not play it. If you are making the PC MMORPG, please make it correctly and let me to play. And when I say me, trust me, there is a lot of players. There is a lot of players who is hating such kind of situation. Okay, some people can say that, you know, what uh, uh, MMORPG is for the group and guild content. Yes, it is and it can be. But if you uh, add the solo content, if you add, just imagine, just imagine, MMORPG without arena. It, it, we don't have arenas. It's, it's so big shit. We have such kind of open arenas. Let me show you now. Okay, I'm going there. This is the open arena. You see, it's fucking empty. Here is no arena and no players to fight because it's not competitive. It's like a duel and also in the game we don't have open duel system. Like if this would be the player and I will mark it and I, ca I cannot send him in a duel. That is also the bullshit too. So this game is not focused for si solo or the group content players. Like in, uh, in Castle Siege it was today and what situation there was. There was Zerg versus Zerg. Okay, in any castle there is the Zerg versus Zerg, but the game did not even give us the reward as the solo player. I killed the 50 players I, and took 45 assists and trust me, my kills was uh, really huge kills because there was a lot of players who was killing 3 or 4 people and they had a lot of assists, but I got shit. I got nothing in one uh, hour of the gameplay today. I got nothing as the solo player and if I would be with my friends like on six people we also got uh, uh, would get nothing so this game at this moment is dying because the developers are planning to publish this game on the PS5 they are doing everything to fix the game uh, uh, it's have to be the comfort uh, comfortable for the PlayStation players so Antisoft made a PC game and they care the console players to feel uh, comfortable in the game. Thank you. Thank you a lot. I don't know. 
this situation is so bad this is so bad this is killing the games and it is not only for ncsoft it is the future how it looks like and just enjoy the guys uh what the games we have at this moment which can uh fully call as the pc mmorpg and uh, subscribe the channel if you like my content if, if you like honest uh, ideas and honest speeches about the things um, I play at this moment Throne and Liberty I want to make the content for Throne and Liberty I'm waiting for the global release and I want to see what NCSoft will change before the global release because at this moment I feel I'm playing on the open beta as the Korean server and I also have Alpha 2 key for Ashes of Creation I'm waiting that game so much Steven you are the main man and don't listen to the people don't uh, decrease the pvp content inside the game i also waiting arcade 2 and yes if you are interested with my channel if you're interested with my plans subscribe the channel and if you like the video please hit the like button and as always see you in the next video